Well, sounds like plenty of typical summer weather ahead for most of us, Kevin. Henry. Yeah, and especially when it comes down to hit and miss thunderstorms. This is a live look at Minot. Um, this storm just off to your south and west is not severe. It's just near Delac, so it should miss the Magic City. But we do have some severe weather in our first warrant viewing area. Thunderstorm watch for eastern South Dakota and southeastern North Dakota, but close to home in north central parts of the state. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning. We're looking at these areas, northeastern Montana, northwestern, north central North Dakota for isolated strong to severe storms to develop. So the forecast does hold on track for now. So this warning does include Mohal, severe thunderstorm warning for Botano and Renville counties until 645. So Mohal, Lorraine surrounding areas. Here's that severe thunderstorm that is moving southeast at roughly 35 miles per hour. Kenmare getting some activity, um, not severe for you, but that severe storm is gradually going to miss Sherwood, but Lorraine, Mohall, Tolly, you are included in this warning. As I mentioned, no warnings for Kenmare, but where the hill core is, um, just to the north of Tolly. Norma, no warning for you either, but still a little bit of rough weather, especially north of you. So let's zoom in and take a look at the hill detection. Not as impressive as it was, let's say, 10 minutes ago, but still likely some small hill to the north of Norma and to the north of Tolly. This is virtually north of High way five for the time being, but as this pushes to the southeast, residents in Mohall will have to be on the lookout for the potential for some small hill eventually, and that goes for Lorraine as well. But where is our severe weather threat going to be for this evening uh, with those isolated threats, mainly north central and central parts of North Dakota? Remember, not for everyone. Isolated storms mean they're going to be hit and miss, but across the southeast part of the state into Sioux Falls, that's where they have a chance for scattered severe thunderstorms for this evening and tonight. So we are going to be dealing with for residents across the north, uh, maybe a little bit of light wet weather for um, tomorrow morning, otherwise relatively dry. So let's take a look at your forecast through Friday dry, but Notice after midnight could get another disturbance pushing in from Canada, um, giving an isolated storm or two after midnight for northwestern parts of north central North Dakota and maybe make its way down Highway 52. But the rest of us are going to be remaining dry morning lows in the 50s and we're back into the 70s and 80s for tomorrow. The big story for your Friday is going to be the wind. Not very much wind for a Friday morning, but as we go into the afternoon and evening, notice that potential for uh, 30 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts. So a bit on the blustery side for the second half of your Friday. Saturday during the day looks great, but Saturday night and Sunday, another 50 50 shot at showers. Once again, Monica Allen, not for everyone, but the chance will be there. A little breezy on Sunday and nice for next week. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.